Sometimes in our kicking sessions, we feel like we're just not kicking the ball that far. We haven't got the usual power that we always have got. Sometimes it's because we're falling under on the approach. So I'm gonna set up at 45 degrees. If I get too close to the pink cone, it means that I'm falling under the ball. If I get too close to the orange, I'm getting too high on the ball. The airplane styles, if I'm coming in and turning here, it's gonna chuck me to the pink. It means my plant foot's gonna land too far in front. And as you can see, ball's behind my hips and I can't get that power going through the ball. On the flip side of that, if I get too high, again I do this funny little arc into the ball, I get really square at the time of impact and can't get a nice strike. For me it's really important to have square feet, knees, hips, chest, head, everything at the back of the ball. My first step, everything stays there as well, just so I know exactly where my energy is going. Stay slow, trust my timing. Whereabouts is your follow through going after you've made impact with the ball? Now we've spoken about momentum before, we've got to win the half metre pre-ball, we've got to win the half metre post-ball, we've got to get our momentum going to target. Quite often when I get a video from a kicker, a young kicker, developing kicker, they make impact and this hop pulls out here to the left. Now the reason that's happening is because we're off balance and we're not really comfortable in the position that we're in. You've got to have a tall body, tall strong hips, make impact and allow yourself to be able to go forward. If you use the foot down technique, exact same thing, so making impact, winning that half metre forward towards the ball. But the one thing that we don't want is that big ugly hop out to the left where we come in, we swoop and we swing out here, we end up well away from the ball and we haven't got all that good energy. Trust your time and get that hop going forward to target.